Hello everyone, Darkeen here with the Mana Build. This one is quite a big one. So sit down, get yourself a cup of tea, pause it, come back, get ready. We're going to show you how I built some of these, how I built this, and uh, I'll show you what I've built first. Uh, we're, I've gone through basically a cafe, French cafe style, based on an image I saw on the net before. So I've got the floor, the uh, Babylonian stone walls all around, just plain walls with um, pictures on to attract people, and the Babylonian staircase leading up. Now that's all fairly simple, that's people who know how to build walls, so that's all good. This is what we've got. So we've got multiple buildings. We've got a canal, got all the flower pots on the side, stone pillars covering the middle of the builds there. We have bridge with a raised platform. We have some uh, little buildings here. We have a little art gallery leading upstairs to a bathroom. Uh, ticket counter for sales for coming to see the uh, coming to see the art gallery. I thought that was a nice little touch. We have a nice little cafe and bistro. Some birds out the front. Uh, signs you can put whatever picture or image here you like. If you've got more than one, you can take it and put them elsewhere. Um, I've put these with the other images down the front. Some flower pots. Now I've put my, I put the big fireplace with the TV on the, the wall TV. That way I can easily jump in and buy, sell things, etc. This building here is restaurant, cafe. We've got food waiting to go out. We've got a stove and the cooking things, a fridge. We've got uh, counters here to request to buy things. Upstairs we've got a little sitting area, waiting, uh, some the chair, we have the crenellations on this leading to, the, it looks like the canal's going under, we have these walls here which lists the, just shows all the stuff in the shed and I've put a bed up top because you've got to have it somewhere, and I didn't know where else to put it. Although I could have put it up there, but uh, I've just chosen that. So the hard parts in this is basically this canal. How do we get a canal? Now the boat here is actually a bed. We can actually put that anywhere over that two, sp two space. Um, now the image I saw on the net was basically looking uh, down this way. So you could see the uh, the stained glass windows on there. You could see the three walls there. You couldn't see the top floor, although you could just barely see some of that. Uh, the top stained glass windows. Um, and you could tell this side here. You could tell that there was a, um, a revolving door. You could tell that they had these three windows here and you could only just tell that there was another wall at this point here. Uh, so we had a base idea of exactly how wide this was. The second image is basically looking from this point here, looking down. We just get the picture I saw just has the corner of this balcony here. It was listed in, it was a, a black balcony, but I don't have that so I can't build it, so I've used this white one instead. Um, we can see the chairs down below, we can see the archway over there which is the Roman uh, arch, um, and we could just see some of those top up, the, the top windows up there. Uh, the one thing we can't see, it's ba it was basically like that, so you couldn't see any roofs. So I've had to extrapolate the roofs and just sort of work out something that looks good. 
and I've used that. So the tricky pit, but pit the tricky bits here. Excuse me. Um, we can just see the stairs from the image, so we knew there were stairs going up. I've extrapolated that. This window was definitely like that. Um, and we've built stairs in the other places in order to allow them to go up. Tricky parts for this, the stone pillars, stopping all the way there, stopping at that point there. The raised bridge. Um, the floors that are below, that that's not a full height, it's not a half height. Um, the bridge showing those, uh, these, um, those gaps there. And I, when I finally worked out what these pieces were, um, I was able to realize how part of it was built. So let's go into the blueprint mode and I will show you how this was done. Because we can destroy things in blueprint and it won't matter. Alrighty, delete this wall here. So, immediately you can see we've got, uh, I've used the full height and small brick walls here, or the stone walls. Now, you can immediately see we've got the small stone wall at that bottom point there. That allows us, and then I'll show you what we've done. So, in the middle, we've got these there. So we've got one full height wall. And that full height wall uh, matches the same height as the stairs, which is why uh, it looks like it's a sunken canal. So we've got the ground using the small uh, wood there running uh, away from us. We've then got brick walls on top there. Uh, the, sorry, the, the, the floors, sorry. I apologize. The, the small walls in the middle, the floors up top. Those floors uh, allow us to place these column, the stone columns, um, exactly on top of that floor which is why it appears like it's suspended there that gives it the full height underneath and allows it to just that tiny bit to stick up to cover the uh, black fence work we now have the uh, these half height walls which fantastic idea it means you can lower you can put brickwork on top of those walls because they're walls. So you can put the um, the floor some floors on top, and thus we have the floors. And you can see the boat up top there that sits on top of the boat. Now a very neat trick. Is that with that wall and that floor there we can now put this structure here which I believe it was a frame stand corrected it was not Six roof arch wall, this one here. That sits on the floor, like that. And because we're using, we're not using a small height wall, not using a mid height wall, we're using this. It actually is, it actually means that it pushes 
the top of that uh, roof arch wall up a little bit, thus giving us that little edge. Once we know that trick, we can then build that lovely little bridge. Everything else is, uh, I did have to redo this three or four times in order to get it and then pull it apart, do it again. Uh, and that was how I built it. Everything else is a matter of uh, saving, going out and uh, using vouchers to get enough to make all these planters I had to make 19 stone columns um, typically you'd put these planters on both sides uh, which is a safe assumption to make um, the image I saw only had um, did not show any of this side down here so I have no idea what was on this side um, also did not show any of this did not show if there was a door here or there, but I've assumed it was on this corner here in order to go up. And that's how we've done it. So we had a raised walkway. We got the stone pillars. Put the black brackets, uh, black fence on. Some crenellations up this way so people can look over the bridge. I did originally have these walls further down and put th those crenellations on top um, of a, a flat wall. It did look okay but it wasn't how it was showing in the picture and I did want to copy the picture as much as I possibly could. Um, including the red brick wall for this building, the stone for this building, um, these column, these uh, vaporware tile pattern, um, I don't have enough of, so I couldn't, and they were from an event, so I couldn't put one there or further along here. So I've changed the tile pattern uh, because that's what I've got. Um, that was the only thing I had to make do with was the patterns. Well, hope you like it. Hope you uh, maybe learned a trick or two. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you and take care.